on. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I'm Yanni the Greek coming to you live straight from Las Vegas. It's Sunday, August 4th. We got a busy Mueller morning already. A lot of baseball action, even some Olympics and uh, college football. Gave out some college football sides, gave out some preseason NFL yesterday. We've got season win totals. It's that time of the year, baby, where we are doing damage for what's ahead. I'm so excited for these next five months. If you haven't jumped on board for the football season, do not wait. Do not wait. We are already, already unloading and lines are already moving. Respecting that action. Get last season, 2024, 2023, finished number one in profit in college football and NFL combined and uh, looking to do it again. We wasted no time, like I said. So <clears throat> coming off a nice winning day overall crushed MMA like usual in the UFC was going to upgrade or my uh, gamet off to a 5% play, but I saw it got up to about minus 350, 370 in some spots. I was going to add a percent to it, but said we're good with 4%. It's a little chalky. Um, so held off there, but I just thought it was going to be one of those fights where exactly went the way we expected. He gets the decision. He's just a little bit better everywhere. Then San Hagen just doesn't have the UFC experience yet. So we were kind of betting on uh, potentials more than credentials in that one, which I rarely do, unless I'm getting a nice return on going out on the risk curve. You see the UFC shirt? I got that for doing UFC watch party. That was the best. I don't know. I wish I did like two or three of those. I'd like to do one every single pay-per-view. This is the best gig ever, ever, ever. You get to go to the UFC um, Apex. Before you go, you they give you a list. You get to choose what restaurant you want. And uh, you circle all kind of appetizers, meals, desserts. Um, so they have that all ready for you when you show up. You get to the UFC Apex. They walk you upstairs to Dana's private suite. They have a big TV set up for you. They have chairs a table set up with a buffet of whatever restaurant you chose. They have all this food for you. They mic you up, put all the mics on you, put the lights on, and then you just get to sit in a chair and watch the UFC pay-per-view card and just comment before each fight. And during it, I, you know, they have the camera on you and it's for UFC fight pass. And it's not even live. What happens is they they box it up and then they put it up on on the streaming network like later. So like after that pay per view card is over, I don't know why who watches it, but I guess people do watch them um, because I did I think two or three of those and they, they like I said they're the best. You get paid to watch a UFC card and comment on it, and then there's other watch parties like it'll be at Steve-O's house. will have a watch party sometimes at like Alpha Male Uriah Faber's gym. We'll have a watch party. They have different watch parties all over the place, all over the country, all over the world. And use they zap you in into other people's watch parties. And since I was the gambling guy, they were zapping me in. And I was talking about betting lines like before uh, the fights went on or what I thought. It was really cool. It was fun, fun experience. Um, don't know why we went off on that ramp, but I like to share a little bit of our, my life with you guys. Some of the fun stuff I get to do that I don't put out on social media just because it has it's not me. Like I don't. I'm not bred to pull out a phone and take a picture of the stuff I'm doing. It just hasn't been my generation. You know, we didn't do that. It was, we were a lot more private also, but the idea of like having your, your phone out, I see now, now I went to a Metallica concert months ago and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, isn't nobody watching the concert? Like everybody was just watching it through their phones. Everybody was like this. Why would you go just buy the video? Like, why are you paying $800, $1,000 a ticket? To go watch Metallica concert through your phone, just get the just buy the video. I'm sure there's a concert of the video you could buy for 40, 50 bucks and just watch it that way. I, I don't understand it. Again, I don't get it. Like, is it for social? Maybe someone could share it down in the comments. Like, what is it for? Is it so you could look at it 10 years from now? I don't think so. I don't think anybody's looking at their videos from like five, six years ago. I think most people even delete them off their phones and shit after it gets enough data on there or whatever. So, like, I don't know what the purpose is for. Is it for like, Instagram clout, or you see, I, 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 it's funny that I took videos too at that Metallica concert and pictures, 
And I did I even like of them singing a song. I didn't even post any of it. Like, I think I, I did probably, I, I took it for that and thought of, of posting and just never even did. Cause I don't know, just not my thing, but I just went five minutes for uh, no reason talking about uh, UFC watch party, talking about Metallica concerts. And uh, you guys got games to get to some winners to get to. Like I said, we chipped off some more of that 2024 bottom line that we have to get to before we're able to say this is the ninth winning year in our last 10. Make sure you go down, smash that like button, comment, ask some questions. And uh, if you can share it, that would be even better. So let me give you some free picks before I get to uh, some of the questions. From this got to be from Friday because we didn't have anything on Saturday. So let's look at Friday. All right. Let's give you free picks first. Free picks. What am I talking about? All right. Let's go. Let's give you a, a total. 4% total. Now, we don't bet 4% on ever on, on a bet uh, because we don't want to live with a 90% risk of ruin. We're going to lose our money 90% of the time, even with an edge. We work with a 20% risk of ruin where we're going to double our bankroll 8 out of 10 times and only lose it 2 out of 10 times with the edge we've been proven to have over our last 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 plus bets. And... uh 0.25 of that is 1% of bankroll. That's the most. Most we go is 1.25. Anyway, you guys know the calisthenics. So we're going to go under nine and a half, under nine and a half, Toronto and the Yankees. It's been an over series. I believe the last series, all games went over. All the games this series have gone over. And there's a little bit inflated because of that, especially last game of the series. And that's that half, half a run that really got us excited to push it to a 4% play, you know, nine being such a key number, like the pitching matchup as well. Going to give you one more total also, and that's Milwaukee, Washington. We're going to go under there, went under nine and a half, under nine. We'll grade it at under nine, no problem. And that was also 4%. Of course, we don't bet 4%, 0.25 of that, which is 1% of bankroll. So 1% of bankroll on the under in Toronto and the Yankees, 1% of bankroll on Milwaukee and Washington. Now, I gave out two college football premium plays today as well. Going to give you one of them. I'll share them here. We did on the buy, bought the half a point on uh, Wyoming, Wyoming, that is at plus seven. There's six and a halves out there. We bought the hook up to minus 120. If you could pay up to minus 121, just don't lay 125. If they're charging 125, take the six and a half. You don't need the seven because you're actually getting the same exact thing. If you're paying 125 for a half a point up to seven in college football. So be careful with that. Um, in fact, Let me tell you exactly, exactly what these are worth. College football, 6.5 minus 110 or 7 minus 120. What do we want? We want 7 minus 120. Because you could go up to minus 124. That's why they're going to charge a lot of places 125. So you're paying a penny more. See how that works? If you're buying the hook at six and a half to plus seven and they're charging you 125, don't do it. You're paying too much. You're paying too much. You should be paying up to 124, no higher than 124. Up to that, it's fair. Anything higher than that, they're getting the best of it. Remember, I always share that. Um, with my subscribers so that they know which it's I show I write just like that I write buy half point up to minus 124 true odds so they know anything better than 124 not true odds you're paying higher than you should so I gave you Wyoming. Do I have an NFL? Let me give you an NFL. Ah, I don't know how many preseason picks that I give out so far. I only gave out two preseason picks. They probably moved already too. So that's good. You got two, two baseball. We got uh, one college football with my Wyoming on the buy up the plus seven. And uh, let's look at some of these questions and comments and get you out of here. All right. When will you discuss 
football futures and totals on Martinez. Trying to sprinkle some in. The thing is, they offer packages for those at uh, Wager Talk because I've done so well historically. The edge is just so great um, in those season win totals. We That's why I tie up money for that long. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I would make more money rolling it over. Um, but historically, those have been so money that I have to tie up some capital on them. Um, but we offer them to um, Wager Talk customers. And I know I've sold so many of those, so it's a disrespect to give it all out. Now, obviously, they're getting the best numbers, and when some of these numbers move, I'll then share it, and it's up to you guys how you want to use the information, follow, fade, or ignore, um, but just out of respect to that. All right. Thank you, John. He said, when you talk about buying physical gold, Lear Capital is one of the places to go. A gold bar is $2,700, but the price of gold is $2,444. What am I missing? That's the markup. That's the markup. There's the spot price, which is the spot price for gold, but then you're, work, you're buying from a dealer. So they're going to have to make their money on it, and the way they do that is by the markup. There's a difference between what you could purchase at, what you can sell at. That difference is how they profit. That's why... When it comes to buying physical gold, you want to buy in bulk and you want to wait and save up so that you are buying in bulk, paying less, and wait for pullbacks because you're going to pay above spot. More times than not, you're going to pay 5% higher than the spot price, sometimes up to close to 10% higher. So you have to know with physical gold, you want to be holding it for years. Don't invest in it unless you're prepared to hold it for a long time. That's money that you want to preserve buying power with, where you're going to say, you know what? I'm 30 now. When I'm 40, I need to preserve this buying power. I need the part to stack that shit in gold, start stacking in gold. If that's the, the mentality, the pay the small fee, try to find the cheapest. They, they, they change and they change in range. They change depending on how much physical gold they're holding at the time. Um, the bulk there, there's a lot of different, um, percentage that you have to pay above spot. It changes from spot place to place. Um, but you're not going to have to be able to pay spot. That's just not going to happen, which is why gold is that longer term investment. And also why it's better to wait buy in bulk wait for pullbacks um, to where your more or less your bounce is assured. Like we were, we got to new all time highs with gold. We got a pullback. It's a good time right now. We're at all time highs. You saw it's pulling back. I wait, I'm waiting more for, for more of a pullback before I buy some more physical gold. Um, that's the, the difference. All right. And last but not least, let's pick our uh, Ronald Davis. Ronald Davis, 28, 22. Why would you pick Colorado? They are terrible on the road. They are built to win in Colorado. This isn't checkers. Do Colorado is going to lose? All right, let's see how they did. This is from Friday. Maybe he's right. Maybe they're built to win at home, and nobody knows that except for Ronald. And because of that, the books have the wrong prices when Colorado's at home. Because nobody knows that they're good. They're, they're built to win it. They're better at home than on the road. Surprise, surprise. Wow, Colorado won five to two. Colorado won five to two in San Diego. Again, it, it, please stop with the nonsense. This team's built to win at home. This team's built to win on the road. This team, stop that. That's such, you think, who, you're the only one that knows that? You don't think that's baked into the cake? You don't think the odds maker looks and says, this is what their record is at home. This is what their record is on the road. How am I going to back through the betting line to reflect that difference. You're the only one, Ronald, that that thought of that. And so we're just going to bet up Colorado at home and we're going to fade them on the road and we're going to get rich doing that. Is that where what you're getting at? Where's the chess playing? I didn't see anything about why or how or what. I don't see any of that, Ronald. Where's the chess? I'm playing 3D chess. I think that's what you're not understanding. I think you don't understand the 3D chess that we're playing here. We're playing a little bit different, a little bit different. 
um, than most people. We play to win. We, we, we're, we, we're sharp. Come on. We don't listen to nonsense like that. They're terrible on the road. Why not? Then just bet against them every time they're on the road and don't do anything else. That's it. Just fade Colorado on the road. And you're a billionaire. Why would you share that with us? You should be the only one doing that. The rest of us shouldn't be able to see that. Come on, man. That's like a saying a team went 10 and 0 against the spread in college football and saying, oh, all you had to do is, is bet Virginia this year. Just bet against, just bet on Virginia. They, they're going to, they covered every game. Oh, tell me that week one. Don't tell me that week 10. Don't tell me Colorado, you'll make money fading Colorado on the road in, in August. How about from here to the end of the year? Will we make more money or less money fading Colorado at home or on the road? Like, give me reasoning why from here on. Don't tell me in the past what happened. I didn't make money off that. If you made money off that, great. But we didn't make money off that. So now going forward, what's going to happen? So should we still, Ronald, just to, just let me know. Do we still just bet them in, at home or on the road? Or do we fade them on the road still? What do we do? Because the other day you were wrong. So does that mean, I don't know. I don't know what that means. So. Maybe he's going to enlighten us. Again, I'm just joking, bro. Please, if you if you have thin thin skin, this this industry is, this isn't for you. This racket isn't for you. You got to develop thick skin. People are going to bust balls. Uh, you're talking to someone who, who I could win nine, eight out of the last nine years, and I have a losing month, and I'm going to get my balls busted more than anybody. So if you don't have thick skin, this isn't for you. And Ronald, I'm just picking on you because I thought that was funny when you wrote. Why would you pick Colorado? They're terrible on the road. Well, yeah, we know that. But usually when you look on paper, you know whether team A is better or team B is better. If all we have to do is bet the better team, why is anyone going to work? Just stay home, watch Sports Center. They'll tell us who the better team is. And then we just bet them every night. Just, or just look on the standings. One team has the better record. Just bet the team with the better record, right? Every night. That's fucking easy. Why didn't I think of that? Shit, he's right. That's chess. Checkers would be what? What would be checkers? If that's chess, if that's 3D chess, then what would be checkers? Of course, they're terrible on the road. That's a well-known fact. So what does the book do? They shave the price so that you can't get rich just fading them on the road because they'll make the home team price inefficient by shading it towards the bias of everyone thinking Colorado so bad on the road. Don't you understand that's the difference that it all comes down to the great equalizer, which is the point spread and the money line. We know who's better. We know who's better more times than not. But what, how many points better? What's their implied win probability compared to their true win probability? Is there a difference? Get into the weeds with me, brother. Teach me something. Not they're terrible on the road. It's like, what kind of comment is that? Colorado's bad on the road. Okay. Colorado Rockies, you mean? Who didn't know that? That Coors Field is, uh, is, is comfortable for the home team. How do we take advantage of that? Show us. Show the numbers. Bring receipts. That, oh, tell me. Okay, from, all, from now, from August 5th. That's tomorrow. Through the end of the year. We need to fade them on these road trips because duh, duh, duh. give it to me. Give me the gold. I want the gold. But telling me this isn't checkers, Colorado's going to lose. And then they end up winning five to two. It doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't teach me nothing. Again, I'm so open to learning. I want to learn. I want to be proven wrong. That's the only way you learn. Be proven wrong. That's a gift when people could prove you wrong. See, some people get offended. I get excited. Because it means now I could stop misleading myself. I can stop fooling myself into thinking a certain way. And I could start thinking the right way and benefit from thinking the right way. Got to check your ego at the door, boys. We got to check that ego at the door. We don't need to be the smartest guy in the room. Get in the room with smarter people. That's when you're going to do well in life. Being the smartest guy in the room doesn't guarantee you're doing well in life. Because you could be surrounding yourself by dummies. But get in a room where you're not the smartest guy. Now you're learning. Now you're advancing. Now you're benefiting. See how that works? That's how life gets easier, not harder. But a lot of, a lot of men suffer from that. And I know some really good, smart men 
who would have done so much better in life had they simply checked their ego and realized they don't have to be the smartest guy in every room. And every good idea doesn't have to be theirs. Someone else could come up with a good idea that they could execute and implement. And so many times they won't do it because it wasn't theirs. So instead of making their life easier, their be business better, their finances greater, they're their own worst enemy. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Make sure you're not the smartest guy in the room. That's the goal of life. Don't be the smartest guy in the room or else you're not learning anything. You want to surround yourself by people smarter than you. That's how you challenge yourself. That's how you advance in life. That's how you learn. If you don't have an ego, you will get far in life. If you have an ego and think you have to win everything and be number one, sorry to break it to you. Life don't work that way. Life will come crashing down hard around you. So I love you guys. Enjoy your Sundays off. Let's end this week winning. I looked at the way you talk. I see that site. What's it say? What am I? Number one right around there in the top three, top last three, last seven days. See how that changes, man. We do this for the long term. We do this for real, for real, for real, for real. Football, you know where it's at. A couple more plays coming your way. I just sent two right now, college football. Got to get off now because two more coming your way. Love you guys. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the games. Enjoy the day. Have fun with your families. Be back bright and early Monday. I will be in Florida at the end of next week. Uh, so we'll see about having these uh, mornings. I'll fill you in during the week. I will be in Vegas till Thursday. I have a, uh, let's do the schedule really quick for you guys. Tuesday, I'm doing a show for DraftKings on uh, uh, some past. They're doing some movie on MMA that I'm a part of. Um, Wednesday, the Gambler's Perspective podcast, 2-0, 2-0 on Saturday. I've now 10 straight winning weeks, 10 straight winning weeks, including 5-0 and the last three shows. But we're passing no show this week, but I do have UFC on the line Thursday. So there will be two UFC on the lines we're taping on Thursday. And then Thursday night, as soon as I leave UFC Apex, I will be boarding a plane flying to Clearwater, Florida, to Tampa, and uh, staying there for about four days or so before coming back and uh, getting to work. This is the last little break, semi-vacay, partly work, partly wedding related, and uh, really looking forward to it. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy the games. God bless.